Hello everyone, my name is Johnny Nick and I'm a senior at Marquette University studying finance and information systems. I cover domestic materials in the AIM US small cap equity portfolio. Um, today I will be pitching to you Livent Corporation, ticker LTHM. I came across this company through employing a top-down screening process. I firmly believe that electric vehicles are the future of transportation. From this assumption, I critically evaluated a way in which our portfolio can make a play on this industry trend. And through understanding the absolute necessity of lithium in these lithium-ion batteries in these electric vehicles, I came across Livent Corporation. Livent Corporation spun off from FMC Corporation, a large chemical manufacturer, in 2018, issuing its own separate IPO. Um, they are a pure play producer of performance lithium compounds, including lithium hydroxide, 55% of fiscal year 2019 revenue, butyl lithium, which is 25% of 19 revenue, and purity lithium metal, which were accounted for the remaining 20% of 19 revenue. The company is headquartered in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Corporation mines lithium brine from the deposits located at Solar del Hombre mine in Argentina. From this brine, LTHM's team of industry experts produces high quality, low impurity lithium carbonate and lithium chloride. Lithium carbonate is then used to create battery grade lithium hydroxide, commonly used in rechargeable electronic vehicle batteries, as well as other battery applications such as mobile consumer electronics. Lithium batteries are ideal for these storage applications because of their high energy density and smaller proton counts allowing for easier electron transmission. From lithium chloride, LTHM produces butyl lithium, which is used in industrial polymers for its adhesive qualities. Additionally, lithium chloride can be manipulated into high purity lightweight metals. These metals are sold to non-rechargeable lithium battery producers for their unique reactivity and to aerospace manufacturers because of their relative strength and light structure. Livent boasts an impressive product portfolio, serving a wide variety of end markets for nearly 60 years. By far the most exciting market, end market involves lithium's Livent's tie to the electronic vehicle industry. In recent years, scientists have come to understand the negative implications of the increasing temperature of the Earth's climate due to carbon emissions. With this cause and effect relationship in mind, companies have been striving to make significant process in EV production, ultimately increasing the demand for lithium. Livent is well positioned to benefit from this increase in lithium demand, as LTHM is one of the five largest producers of this coveted battery grade metal and is the only fully integrated producer of high purity lithium metal in the Western Hemisphere. LTHM and its four competitors account for nearly 70% of the global supply of lithium. Additionally, as OEMs have slowed production due to a decrease in consumer demand and COVID-related obstacles, Livent has continued to operate at full capacity and increase their inventory and expects, and expects their operational leverage to pay off as the markets recover. Due to LTHM's unique business model, ability to leverage the same production source into different end markets, and industry-leading positioning in the EV market, it is recommended that Livent Corporation be added to the AIM Small Cap Equity Fund with a price target of $10.58, representing a potential upside of 13.55%. Now on to my investment thesis. My first driver is all aboard the electronic bus. The climate change crisis of our time has molded the transition from carbon-emitting gas-powered vehicles to rechargeable electronically powered vehicles. EVs are anticipated to be the future of transportation and the world economy seem to be moving in that direction. Finally, concrete steps are being taken legislatively and commercially to make this dream a reality. On Thursday, September 24th, the governor of California issued an executive order to require all new cars sold to be zero emission vehicles by 2035. Additionally, on the commercial front, companies are adjusting their sustainability targets. E-commerce giant Amazon recently ordered 100,000 custom electronic vehicles in an effort to reach their goal of being carbon neutral by 2040. According to Bloomberg's New Energy Finance's May 2019 EV Outlook, 
EV sales are expected to exceed 56.2 million units in 2040, representing a penetration rate of 57% of all vehicles sold. As a result of these industry tailwinds, LTHM is expected to grow revenue at a 19.25% five-year kegger to $658.6 million in 2024. My second driver is Solar Del Hombre. In 1998, Livent transitioned its sourcing of lithium to the Solar Del Hombre in Argentina. This location consists of brine salt pans that are rich in lithium. There are two primary sources from which lithium is acquired. Sputamine concentrate, rock matter, which is pictured in the bottom right, and brine, which is the top right. Fortunately for Livent, this location enables them to obtain their lithium from brine, which is a lot less costly manner of extracting the pure lithium product. This allows Livent to be able to achieve higher margins due to this cheaper production of lithium, which gives them an advantage over some of their competitors. Additionally, LTHM has a plan in place to expand the production of this location by 40,000 metric tons. As a result of LTHM's unique operational situation, their operation, their operating income margin is expected to increase to 38% in 2024. My last driver is technological development. Ever since Livent teamed up with Sony in 1991 to develop the first lithium-ion batteries, they have stayed on the forefront of the technology frontier. LTHM invests $3 million annually in R&D, and works constantly with their customers to discover new ways in which to optimize their products. Recently, in 2019, LTHM filed the first patent for printable lithium technology. Although this technology is yet to be scalable, LTHM predicts that this method of lithium manufacturing could be a breakthrough for the industry with its shape conformability and aesthetic versatility. Its potential, it potentially could be applied to almost every wearable consumer electronic, these images show how the flexibility of the material could be put in place, like that heart is actually the battery, and essentially it could be applied to, to the structure of a product versus having separate storage space for the battery. Now on to my valuation. In order to reach an intrinsic value for LTHM, a five-year DCF model was constructed. Using a terminal growth rate of 2% and a WAC of 11.23%, an intrinsic value of $10.64 was reached. A sensitivity analysis of the terminal growth rate in rack, WAC ranged from $9.37 to $11.80. Additionally, a PE multiple valuation was calculated using a blended average PE multiple of 13.8. An intrinsic value of $10.46 was reached. I weighed the two models 70-30. A price target of $10.58 was reached, resulting in a 13.55% potential upside. Livent does not pay an annual dividend. Now on to my risks, lithium prices. The prices of lithium have been and may continue to be volatile. Since late 2018, LTHM has experienced significant pricing pressures due to the oversupply of lithium compounds in the worldwide lithium industry. Further declines in lithium prices could have a material adverse effect on, lithium, on Livent's business, financial condition, and results of operations. COVID-19. The rapid and global spread of COVID-19 has resulted in the disruption and temporary shutdown of the businesses of certain of LTHM's customers, contract manufacturers, and suppliers. Prolonged government restrictions due to COVID-19 could adversely affect forecasts. Argentina. LTHM's major operations take place in Argentina, and there are several political and economic risks that the country experiences. Currency devaluation or social unrest could be potential threats to LTHM's future operations. Now to briefly touch on management. Paul W. Graves holds the position of President, Chief Executive Officer, and Director at Livent Corporation. Prior to this role, um, Paul showed his capabilities serving as the Chief Financial Officer and Executive Vice President of FMC Corporation. Now for some closing remarks, um, EVs are the future of transportation. Concrete steps are finally being taken legislatively and commercially. Um, and this ultimately is going to lead to an increase in the demand for lithium. And uh, Livent Corporation in particular is well positioned to benefit from this expected boom as they have been growing their inventory throughout um, COVID-19 shutdowns. And um, they mine this inventory from one of the lowest cost resources in the world at their mine in Salar del Hombre. 
um, while also having the potential for growth through their technology, technological development and printable um, lithium technology. Um, at this point, I want to wrap up and thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I'd be happy to answer any more questions in the T2L discussions or um, during my live Q&A tomorrow. Thank you so much.